Good morning YouTube, it is Sunday morning and the launch date for this thing is Thursday the 17th. I know this because somebody is coming to help me put it up. I need to use this collar here to stop the whole assembly leak can't slide back down because if any of this moves then it will immediately go out of alignment and that is of critical importance. You can see that's fairly nicely in there. I'm going to do. I'm going to get a bolt in there nice and tight to try and leave a mark on the inside and then I'm going to drill a hole for the bolt to recess into. I'm not going to tap it. It's going to start ripping it round, I've got a feeling. fresh marking is there so we've got to drill a hole in that the bolt can slide into. I'm just going to take the front blades off because it's not making it any easier to do what I need to do. nicely and that's nice and stiff. We also need something on this end to stop it moving forward because when the wind turbine goes up due to the weight of the motor as it's going up this bit will be facing the floor so if the shaft moves back or moves either way it takes the chain out of alignment with the gear on the uh, motor. So yeah that's the jobby. Shaft at the moment needs to be realigned, the bearings need to be moved by it. Not quite perfect for this one, which is why we're getting a bit of wobble. But that's why I'm going to spend some time making sure it's perfect before it goes up. Sweet! Now the chain's gone super tight. Just going to lower it down a bit because we've got these nuts so we can change the angle. Tighten them up now in case I forget later. It's way too hard to turn. That's too hard. That is too hard to turn. Super easy to turn if I get it in nice and tight there. We should be in business. So I just tighten them up by hand. A little nip at a time. I know this isn't 100% level, it doesn't really matter. It's all about how easy it is to turn. If it's easy to turn, it will start up and it will make some juice. good. Heat shrink. If you can see that's the bolt, the cable coming out the back got a nice bit of heat shrink on it covering over the little bit with the cutouts so that's very good. And also what I've done is I've cable tied the wire so the wire comes out the back of the motor then is cable tied on this little uh, support structure bit and then that is, uh, we'll address this sh uh, shortly before it goes up, don't worry, I'm not going to leave that there like that. Uh, so yeah, cable tied through there, and there is the hole where the electricity should go. Really good, what dark is, that's the hole where the electricity goes down. And it's turning 
pretty sweet. Let me just show you the slack on the chain, what I mean. So there is, there is a fair bit and that feels really easy to turn. If it stays like that when it goes up, we're laughing. Everything's got to be tightened up and double, triple checked. These bits of wood look crap, uh, but they're just a temporary solution because I didn't really want to bother welding uh, metal on. So yeah, she's getting ready to go for sure. S soon I'll have to go take it and put it on the bin. That's the next job, I guess. I'll just trim off the cable tie first. Some hefty old magnets should work. Whoa. Notice what happens this spot here when I turn it. See it coming in there. That's the little bit of slack I talked about. So now we need a collar on here. Need one of these on here to stop it, the shaft from moving forward at all while it's running. I've noticed this bolt needs some serious attention. You can't really see on camera how bent it is, but it's very bent. So that's a bit of a pain, but I have to do it. You can see the wire coming out the bottom here. extend the wire at the bottom and then run this up through so this cable coming through the turbine will poke out here and then I can connect it probably best to feed this all the way through so I'm going to do that now Longer on a minute. Don't even need those little wires, I'm going to cut them. We'll leave a bit to heat shrink them. Whew, that was a mission. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start pushing that down and then I need to lower the tower down a bit. I need to lift it up first and then Elon's leg, which is like a weird kind of pivot leg thing that allows the turbine, uh, sorry, the tower to be steady while it's down. If it didn't have that, it had, a lot, it had the head on, it would be bowing a bit too much, so it's just that. little square metal thing it's only about 10 mil I'll put it in the ground so that I can do that and then now when I let the slack off that won't hit the deck and stop the tower coming down and then the tower will slowly come to rest just above here hopefully I'm gonna move everything out of the way so it's going on here hopefully Pull the slack up if I can out of here. Hopefully. Yes. Right, so we've got a fair bit of wire to play with here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull some out, cable tie it down just to give it give us a bit to play with if need be. I've got another what I'll call a retaining collar on the other end so that you've got one on the back and one on the front should stop any movement i'm just going to get a spanner or two and uh, just check everything okie dokie yes looking good looking very good i've just got to double check these that should be fine, so I am just going to go and pull the winch up a little bit and then I can put the blades on. Actually, I can't do that yet because I've forgotten about that bit at the tower that needs attention. So I've got to loosen off the winch so that I can move the gin pole out of the way. The gin pole has to become disconnected 
for me to fix it. Clunk. There goes the Ginny Gin Pole.